everybody! In today's video I'm going to be doing kind of an unboxing and kind of um I guess like a tutorial. I just got some stuff in from Cafe Analog. I spoiled myself a little bit for my birthday and I want to show you <clears throat> a couple of the things that I decided to get. Now the main purchase of the um or the main purpose of the purchase was to get one of the new wax seals that she's carrying and it's just so beautiful and classy and lovely and so I'm going to be showing you how to use the wax seal with some of the um, essentials that I also purchased along with the with the seal so let's just go ahead and get into it I want to show the other things that I purchased and then we'll get into the wax sealing part of it afterwards so I've got a bunch of different things here I want to make sure that I'm in frame yeah I guess it's pretty good um so the first thing I got was this really big and deep tin um I was not expecting it to be quite as big I honestly was expecting it to be um smaller like a typewriter tin size uh, but if this is this is pretty darn big. <laughs> you can fit a lot in here, and it's really deep. And um, it's from the Camouflage brand. I thought it was from the Lin Chianing line, but apparently it isn't. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. I love the aesthetic of this. It's very vintage, and um, I just really love the aesthetic of that. So that was really really fun that back in and it's so deep next we have some of the hours brand um, I like a little notepad and I have been eyeing this for a while and I finally decided to go ahead and pull the trigger and it's really really cute and it's really really thick maybe that's just the cover yeah that's just the cover because <laughs> um, it's perforated there as well but the inside is just this really cute ivory color you can see the color difference there and I just really like the look of it uh, all the pages are the same so that's going to be really exciting to be able to use and experiment with and to send in happy mail another thing I got was this Lin Chianing label sticker set so you get two sheets in each kind of color scheme so we've got this greenish color scheme and the darker and lighter. You can see that the distressing is a little bit different. In my opinion, I feel like this one is a little bit lighter. And then we've got the red and the yellow, orangish colors, and then the blue. And this feels like washi paper and this feels like sticker paper. So. Let's actually confirm here. Of course, I'm never gonna be able to peel it up. Okay, yeah, so this is really, really thin like washi paper. And this is thick like sticker paper. So that's really cool. You get two different textures um, of the of each color. So that's really fun. I can't wait to play with these. And I'm, I, again, I'm surprised. I thought these would be bigger uh, and they're smaller than I expected, and I actually like that they're smaller. Um, I can easily use smaller labels in my journaling as opposed to bigger labels, so I'm really excited about that because I can use these for like date stamps. So that's really, really fun. We've got some classic -y washi. This is really, really thick. This is a staple. I'm sure everybody's got this in their stash, but I don't, so I wanted to pick this up. I really love um, this because I can make it whatever size I want it to be or I can have it be thick and it's a nice neutral color really really love that and yeah I love the grid pattern on that next we have this masking tape um, it's by Noop Works and it's for like decorating your mail and stuff I guess it's supposed to be let me see if I can find the end here there we go how cool is that I really 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 like that it's got a cool aesthetic too um so yeah I could use that with happy mail or using it for boxes or just in my journal I think that'll be fun it's got a cool aesthetic 
And the last thing here is this new um, washi tape. I it's by Path maybe. I thought it was a Chanel Garden one, um, but it's the Picnic color. I thought for sure this was Chanel Garden, but I guess it's the brand Path. I'll link everything down below, so don't worry about that. I thought this was from the Spring line, but here we go. How cool is that? I love that. I love the colors. I love the designs. That'll be really, really versatile too. And it matches everything else <laughs> really, really well. So that's really fun. All right, so let's move along to the wax sealing things. Um, okay, so here are the three wax seal items that I got. And the seal is actually in here. So let's go ahead and open this up. Of course it's taped. Nothing is easy when you're filming, right? <laughs> Alright, so it comes in a box like this and there's a little pull string so you just pull it out. The presentation is beautiful. And then it has this really beautiful letter pressed gold foiled card inside that gives you um, kind of some directions on how to do um, a wax seal. So the handle is really, really lovely. And then we have this beautiful cameo design. Let me just get it a little bit closer so that you guys can see it. How pretty is that? How dainty and classy. I really love this. Okay. So yeah, according to this, the first step is to mat your, melt your wax onto your prepared surface using a controlled heat source. Press and hold the stamp into melted wax for 10 to 15 seconds. Gently remove when cooled. Sit back and admire your creation. So let's open this really cool tin. It's got everything you need all in one little tin here. Again, another really lovely gold. Um, foiled embossed uh, card with the very same directions on here. Stampitude has got the uh, packaging down. <laughs> so let's open this cool little bag here. And we have a really lovely wax stick, a very industrial and strong feeling melting spoon, and a candle, a tea light candle for melting your wax above. So um, yeah, let's try this out. Um, let me show you these other colors here. Let's pull all of these out. This is the wax, the sealing wax bundle and it comes with all of these really, really glorious, not super common, in my opinion, colors. So I'm really, really loving these and they're going to be beautiful with the cameo. So yeah, let's, let's play. <laughs> so I think I want to try this really beautiful lavender or not lavender, um, baby pink color and then this color as well. So I do not have a wax melting furnace. What I do have is this candle that's got a wide lip right here that I can usually rest my spoon on. This spoon has a rounded handle, but I think I could probably get away with leaving it there. I don't trust it, so I'll, I'll hold on to it. Um, but you could easily just use the tea, the tea light candle, so that's not really a big deal. So I want to get some surfaces here. I'm gonna get that spoon kind of hot because what I'm gonna be doing is holding the wax stick into it to melt it um, because that's how these particular wax sticks are meant to be used and or you could cut them with an X-Acto knife and dump it into the spoon. 
or you could just hold a flame to it and melt it onto the surface. I don't really feel like wasting my lighter fluid on that, so I'm just gonna hold it into the spoon, but I wanna get the spoon warm first. So what I've got here is this really pretty circle punched map print. I've got some tracing paper, and I've got this, um, it'll come to me. <laughs> dictionary paper, <laughs> small, um, dictionary paper and I want to pull out my seal and then I want to make sure that I get the orientation right when I'm melting or when I'm pressing it into the wax so that I know it's in the right area. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip this tracing paper, rip all the edges because that is what I like and then maybe layer like so and I've got some really pretty Avril twine here I think I'm gonna pull it to the top and I'm whoops <laughs> I'm gonna put this twine right here and I'm actually going to um, pour the wax right onto that twine and see what kind of effect we can get with that so I think probably the better color would be this one. So I'm going to hold on to this and I'm just going to hold this in here. I can already feel it melting. I can already see it pulling up in the spoon. That's the benefit of already having a warm spoon is that this starts to melt right away. You do want to be careful. I'm already noticing that the spoon, because it's all metal, it's all one piece, that it's getting very warm for these fingers already. Um, so just be aware of that when you're doing this at home, to be cautious of that and to be aware. Don't try to burn yourselves to make a pretty wax seal. Oh, that worked much quicker than I anticipated it to. That's pretty cool. So I'm just going to scrape some of this wax off of the side right here. First, because I don't want to make a mess. Second, because I want to use all of this warm wax. And then I'm going to place it in the corner right here. And then let's pour. I'm going to move this flame out of the way because I do not need that. And then I'm going, I'm going to move this sideways because it's a little bit easier for me. And then I'm just going to pour the wax in. All right, put that in there. And then I like to kind of shimmy, shimmy it in. Didn't work exactly how I wanted it to. It kind of all came out right here. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll see how the image comes out in the end. Oops. How cool is that? All right. Now I'm going to get a different spoon clean one so I can use this pink stick so again I've got this wide lip right here so I can easily just let the spoon sit there and then I'm going to grab this tracing paper right here careful again when you are using these if you're doing a lot at once you want to give this time to cool off um, I noticed over the Christmas holiday when I was using my Christmas seal I was doing a lot at once and it got very hot and the seals weren't coming out as crisp and clean anymore so you definitely want to be aware of that 
Again, this is an all metal spoon, so you wanna be careful uh, with holding it. But I've let it warm up a little bit, so hopefully the wax starts to melt right away. I would definitely suggest getting a furnace. I do not have one only because I still have wax in this candle. It's actually like a home candle. It's actually scented. It's actually a Christmas scent. <laughs> so uh, it's interesting to smell in the springtime, but um, it's working for me right now. I'm eventually going to get a furnace. My husband actually showed a picture of one to my husband and he says he's slightly confident that he can make one. So, for the meantime, I'm going to let him attempt to make one. If not, then I'll just grab one off of Amazon. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link that below so you have an idea of what I mean. But it's basically just a wooden um, thing with a copper lid that you can sit your spoon on so you don't have to hold your spoon while it's melting. Uh, and it's got a spot for you to put a tea light on the inside. So yeah, very, very, very convenient. We've got a pretty full spoon here. Again, I'm gonna do the whole scraping technique. You know what I'm really excited for? Is to use this seal for um, another Poi Chin challenge because she uses seals. So I'm definitely going to be doing another one of those. Hopefully the weather brightens up here and I can get some better light in here. I don't think I have quite enough wax in here. What the heck, let's just keep melting it. <laughs> I don't want a half butt seal. So are you guys into wax seals? Do you like them? Do you have a lot in your collection? Do you use them as often as you would like? I probably have, looking at them, maybe 20, 15 or 20 in that, in that range. Um, and I do not use them as often as I should. All right, let's move this out of the way. And we're just gonna plop that down. I have to say, the wax quality is lovely it's very very thick it's very um it's just a good quality wax this stampitude wax is really really nice i've played with waxes before and the quality was not nearly as good so again i want to kind of shimmy this in and then push down whoopsie Oh, that's fun. Push that back down here. Like I said, I am no wax seal master. <laughs> oh my goodness. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna peel this away and put that into my spoon for later. No harm, no foul, and look how pretty it is. So fun. Okay guys, that is all I have for you today. Blow this candle out. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I will leave links for all of this. Of course, my alarm goes off. I'll leave links for all of this down below so you can find all of these really lovely items. And um, they can all be found at Cafe Analog. So just keep that in mind. It's a one-stop shop for this stuff. And she is constantly adding new inventory. Just constantly. Every, time, every day she's uploading something new. So the inventory is always fresh. There's always lots of really great things. And yeah, I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you had fun. And uh, yeah, see you later.